Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Fred DeCorp. Hmm. So, I just got home from watching X Men Apocalypse, and before I do my review on this movie, I just wanna I just want to I just wanna talk about the things they got right in the movie. You know, I I'll, I'll do I'll give the movie that much justice. Um. First of all, I love Quicksilver. Like, he had an amazing scene, like, top two best scene in the movie, in my opinion. Um, Quicksilver is great character, and I'm glad that he had more screen time in this movie, and he was actually, like, he felt part of the team. They got that part right. And about the other thing they got right was um, Hugh Jackman's five minute cameo with Wolverine. I thought they, I thought that was just like the best part of the movie. Like everybody in my movie theater clapped. Like everybody got excited. Like that was, that was the best, you know, coming from, cause you know, growing up, I love Wolverine. Like, and it was so good to see like the Weapon X incorporated in that and I was like okay I, I see what it's going like um that scene was like really badass like badass scene like good job on that Fox <laughs> now probably probably the, the only other good thing about the movie is um is Magneto you know um what's, what's crazy is that um, Michael, um, Brassbender, this guy is a phenomenal actor, like, every time I watch, like, when I watch Days of My Future Past or X-Men Apocalypse, is it me or just, Magneto is just arguably, like, the most interesting actor or and character of anybody of the cast, like, it's like almost like I just wish Magneto had his own movie. Like, like this guy is such a good actor. Like, I, I like his scenes like gravitates. Like, it you 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 feel his emotion, his pain, his struggle. Like, his story is so great. Like, and that's and 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 that's what I don't understand. It's like I just wish, I wish Brian Singer would have never decided to do Apocalypse. I wish he would have just explained Magneto versus uh, Charles Xavier, like, you know, like, do more of that story, like, like, Charles being the good guy, Magneto being the bad guy, both want the best for mutants, both have different views, like, politics, kind of like politics, but when you introduce Apocalypse, now, Apocalypse is one of the biggest, baddest villains in the whole Marvel, in the whole comic book universe, Marvel, you know? Like, he's up there with Galactus, you know? he He's a badass, so it's like, if you're gonna do Apocalypse, you have to do Apocalypse right. And when I, at the, at the, at the post credit scene on Days of Our Future Past, when they showed Apocalypse in Egypt, you know, with the pyramids and stuff, I ain't gonna lie, I was fucking hyped like shit, like, cause I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, like, they got the technology, like, it's 20, 2016, 2015, it's like, we, we're there, like, like, this is gonna be major, like, and so then, you know, the first couple pictures come out for X-Men Apocalypse, and... He looks like Ivan Ooze from the Power Rangers, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no way, Brian Singer. No, actually, no way. Fox, 20th Century Fox. No way do you let Apocalypse, the biggest, baddest villain for the X-Men, look like that. So I was thinking, so, so, so then, you know, a few weeks went by, a few months went by. Brian Singer, he, he came to his senses, and he's like, yo... I got to switch up Apocalypse. So he made him look a little different, you know. So he switched the look up. But the thing is, is that I, I don't understand. Like, it's like it's like I got tricked because 
he switched the look up, but when I when I start watching the movie, he still looks like fucking Ivan Ooze from the Power Rangers. I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm like, okay, so so I try to get a movie a chance. So I tried to look past the whole apocalypse look thing and I tried to go for more of the script and more of the storyline. I try to dig into that because I can't um I, I, I can't gravitate to Apocalypse how he looks, how he appeals to me because it's really fucking annoying. So you know as far as Storm goes, I don't like who they cast as Storm. Um, Alexander Ship or whatever her name is. I thought her her accent was terrible. I thought that I thought that she um, didn't play Storm because Storm is such a major figure in the X Men in the in the, in the universe of the X Men. You know when. Uh, I felt like she just didn't nail that role. And I felt like she was lost in the film. Especially during the fight at the end against Apocalypse. She's just like hiding behind a rock. And then all of a sudden she helps kill Apocalypse at the end. I'm like... Uh, I'm like, really? Um, and, then, and, then, and another thing with the movie, you know. The, 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 the script is all over the place. You know, the, the story is just inconsistent. It's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. It takes too long to build up. You know, you don't really get to see Apocalypse do anything. You, you know, I mean, he does things, but you don't really see him fight the X-Men like how it is in the comic books. Like, you don't really experience how big he is. He looks like he's the same size as everybody else. Storm was, like, as tall as him, which I, I, I don't understand. And, um... And another thing that that really really pissed me off because because Jean Grey is such a pivotal character in the X Men, and the Dark Phoenix saga is a major major um it's it's, it's major in in the X Men universe like her saga and everything that happened. I felt like how can you give her those powers so soon? In the movie and not explain to the viewers how she got the powers what is the powers what is going on with her like I felt like that was I felt like they rushed that I felt like they gave her the powers she helped kill apocalypse at the end and I'm in the movie theaters confused well you know when you read the comic books you know but for the people who never read the comic books they're wondering what the hell just happened with Jean Grey you know aka Sophia um Turner, you know, which she's a great actor, you know, Game of Thrones, you know, Sounds of Stark, which I love. Y'all know I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. But anyways, Brian Singer, what the fuck, bro? Like, like I didn't like Cyclops. The guy who plays Cyclops suck. I I I you know Oscar Isaac, you know, he 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 did what he can do in the character Apocalypse. I didn't like that. Um um, I like, I like Matt, um, I like Charles Xavier James McAvoy. I think he's a great actor, but it's the same thing with, um, Professor, um, Xavier. Every time he's going through some mental breakdown in every movie, like, when can he just be Charles Xavier? Like, when can he, can he just be Charles Xavier, the leader of the X-Men, the teacher, you know? I, I, I don't know, I don't know, I mean... I, I honestly think that the next movie, they should just give Magneto his own movie. Magneto's arguably the best actor of the whole cast. His, he, 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 his story is great. He's, they should do his origin, origin. They should just do Magneto, man. Like, you fucked up Apocalypse. Like, you fucked Apocalypse up. I'm sorry, 20th Century Fox. You guys have took a step back. From Days of Our Future Past, like, is 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 I I don't understand how do we go from Days of Our Future Past to X Men Apocalypse? I don't I don't know. <clears throat> it really upsets me because the X Men is like the crown jewel for Marvel. You know, it's it's you gotta get the X Men right. If you're gonna do it, you gotta get it right. And unfortunately, besides Days of Our Future Past. I don't like none of the X Men movies, and yes, that's X Two. I don't like. Uh, I I don't I don't like the Wolverine movie. 
I don't like I don't like any of them, man. I don't I don't like none of them. They all suck to me. Fox, you need to fucking just give up X Men. Give X Men back to Marvel Studios. Let them make the movies. 20th Century Fox. You guys don't know what the hell y'all doing. Y'all all over the place with the storyline. Y'all fucking up the storyline. Y'all fucking up everything. Like all the characters. Y'all 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 fucking all the origins up. Like you just the movies just all over the place. And it's really upsetting to true comic book fans who who really appreciate Marvel and these character storylines. Like don't fuck them up like that. And and just I just don't understand how y'all just let Apocalypse look like that. Who the hell in the board directory decided to let Apocalypse look like that? Like Brian Singer, what the fuck, bro? Like you need to be fucking cursing out 20th Century Fox for for just letting you do that, bro. Like that's crazy, bro. Like somebody needs to be watching you, son. Like that is absolutely absurd. And I give the movie two out of five stars. I give it two out of five stars. I just can't fuck with it. So I mean, if you're going out to go see the movie, you know, I would I would say just take your time. If you got class or school or whatever, or you got more important priorities, do that first. Don't rush to see the movie. Even if you got to, you probably can red box it. Or most of you guys are probably gonna watch it on Showbox or or Movie Tube or whatever, bootleg it. But man, I, I I paid the money. Fox got me, unfortunately. But it is what it is. But hey, man, I miss you guys on YouTube, man. Subscribe to your boy. It's your boy Fred the Court, man. Peace out.